What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, of course, the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual Zoom studio with a very cool brother named Richard Ori. Mr. Ori, how are you, brother? Doing great, Jay. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, let me give you guys a little bit about his bio. I mean, he literally wanted to be referred to as Richie the Sauna Guy from SpiritualQuest.com. No, I'm just kidding. But he is a Paisan. He's, I have Italian blood in me too, so we're good. We're brothers like that. Uh, but very, very knowledgeable about saunas and sauna therapy and all that he sells all sorts of salt saunas salt bath saunas like all forms of the newest and greatest technology that's out there right now you've heard all the latest and greatest biohacking people are talking about sitting in saunas heat regulation heat temperature uh, cold thermogenesis i mean everybody hears all these things about and that's what we're going to talk about today but richard as i always do on the jay campbell podcast man how did you and I connect and how did you get on the Jay Campbell podcast? Well, it was uh, pretty fortuitous. I was watching one of your uh, partners in crime, uh, Rich Cooper. I, I think you were on his or he was on yours. And there was something about the podcast that I liked and I sent you an email, yep. not expecting to get an email back. You hit me up and then uh, we exchanged a few emails and here we are. We got a sauna headed your way and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Dude, I will definitely love it. And honestly, man, I am gratefully humbled that you are doing that for me. And as I told you, there are no coincidences in the world. I woke up today, my wife got me into something on Instagram, and then boom, I started looking at your competitor whose name will be, you know, we will remain nameless. And I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. Richard's That's weird. Richard's saunas are the same as this. And yeah. I don't get the price differential, right? So you and I talked off air and we're like, wow. So now I know how that works. But, you know, like anything in the world, don't hate the player, hate the sure. game. Okay, dude. So let's talk about um, the, the industry and what you do for a living and stuff like that. So let's talk, you know, just get into the weeds now, but the health benefits of vigorous sweating. Well, it's, uh, well, most people, you know, Jay, don't sweat like our forefathers did or our ancestors. <laughs> You think? <laughs> right, especially especially us in California. Right. But um, the, the, the thing that, that really strikes me is our body builds up uh, toxins, heavy metals from pollution, from makeup, from drinking, from smoking, whatever it is, even breathing yeah. creates toxins. And it's critically important that I learned just a few years ago that vigorous sweating is the key to getting those toxins out of the body, right. perhaps even more so for a woman. Beautiful. The one thing that I did notice is that in our day-to-day -day basis is if you're not sweating, you know, you talk about fat, fat retention, subcutaneous right. fat. If you're yep. not sweating profusely, your body will tend to hold on more fat. And then that fat will help to store the toxins. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy of disease and death and destruction as we get older. 
So I got heavily into doing saunas just a couple of years ago. We've been selling them for many years, but I've noticed that my body has changed dramatically. I lost the neck waggle and awesome. uh, quit, quit drinking, eating a pretty straight, clean diet. And um, the big thing is getting the heavy metal toxins out of your body. They're right. everywhere in our environment. That's awesome that you said that. And, you know, I've actually spoken about that at length when I've done uh, webinars in my first podcast I did with Dr. Anthony Jay of the Mayo Clinic Researcher. You know, we talked about the heavy metal poisoning that so many people undergo. And also something that you brought up, which I think is fascinating, which very few people talk about is the chemicals in our food, right? Yeah. Like non-grass fed beef. Yes. Like eggs and chicken and turkey and all forms of beef that's not grass fed literally have, um, what's it, uh, uh, what's that, glyphosate or glyphosate, yeah. phosphate, Roundup. however you pronounce it, I sometimes can't pronounce that word. It sits, weed, weed killer. Dude, exactly. It sits in the rinds of the animal fat. And then when you eat that animal after however you prepare it or cook it, it's now in your visceral fat. Yeah. And Anthony J talked about this at length. There are numerous studies out there that, of course, are blocked yeah. and people don't see. But, you know, obesity, I hate saying this because obviously I'm obviously very, very pro. Get off your ass. Don't be a yeah. fat mf -er, right? But a lot of people, especially in the Midwest, where they're being bombarded by this spray and these, you know, particulates, they have, they're obese because they have these toxins, Richard, stuck in their visceral fat in their midsection. Yeah, it's horrible. It's incredible. I mean, nobody talks about this, right? Because everybody's like, oh, well, you know, you got to stop eating, you know, eat, mix in more salads and exercise and all this. But dude, a lot of shit is chemically related and no people or no, very few people are talking about this. So, you know, the importance of what you're talking about to sweat these things out through you know sauna treatment is massive you know the uh the infrared sauna creates well it's a light wave in the light spectrum we as humans can't see it a lot of people ask me uh why it's not hot air it's because when you go on the infrared sauna it does warm up the air a little bit but it heats you up right those, those light waves penetrate your body three four five inches they get your molecules vibrating and they push the toxins out through the pores it's really, it's, it's a remarkable, almost everyone, in my opinion, should have a sauna. And in fact, as you get older, it helps to alleviate things like uh, asthma, allergies, uh, uh, arthritis, creaky joints, you know, that muscle that just won't release right. ever. Those are the things that I have found have worked for me. But really important that it's a penetrating heat that heats up the molecules in your body and forces the toxins out through the uh, pores of the skin. Dude, really I have so important. many questions for you. Um, obviously, my house, as I told you when we first started talking, is full of biohacking gadgets. Many yes. of them I do not use, right? <laughs> my wife uses the Juve Red Light Therapy. We have the whole system. It's amazing. She uses it every day. You know, with my skincare products now, we have tons of people uh, in the world now that are basically putting on the serum, doing the red light, putting the cream on top of it. It's awesome. So I know red light's great. I don't have yet but thanks to you, I'm about to have one, a sauna. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Ben Greenfield raves about it. There are tons of people raving about it. Can you just talk a little bit about, because again, I have a million questions, but can you just talk a little bit about like the convenience factor, right? Because I'm sure one of the number one things that you guys hit or get resistance from is like, oh, but how am I going to put it in my house? Right, right. Well, uh, they're modular. They're, they're fully assembled. Then we disassemble them. They're li literally tongue and groove construction. Wow. So Jay, when you get yours, you'll, you'll open your boxes. You'll find a bottom platform, four walls, one of which will be a door and a top. Once you get those, th those four things together, you plug it in and you're in the sauna. Dude, that's I would amazing. Guess half hour, 40 minutes. So that's they're amazing. laser cut, tongue and groove. I say, if you can do Legos or Lincoln Logs, if people remember what those are. <laughs> I remember Lincoln Logs. If people remember what those are, if you can do that, you can have a sauna in your home and enjoy it the same day you have it. Now, getting back to convenience, I always say, you know, most people aren't going to the gym now, but before we would get get ready to the gym, get in the car, put on our clothes, drive to the gym, park, go into the gym, go to the locker room, work out, drive right. home, whatever. Right. By the time you get to the gym, if you have a sauna at home, you can have a full cardio workout. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's yeah. amazing. And obviously in the days of COVID, yeah. I, hate, I hate saying the word because the YouTube algorithm may trip us up, dude. You might get that. I, I might get a strike and say, bro, they deleted my podcast. Well, hopefully it did well. 
You know, <laughs> another thing, and I won't say it, but uh, the, the temperature in the sauna is conducive right. to an antibacterial exactly. environment. Exactly. I mean, that's first and foremost. And we've seen our numbers take off over the last couple months. I think mostly because people can't go to the gym, right. but also there is that component of antibacterial nature. Well, I mean, again, let's face it, right? Like anyone who sells products online right now in this current insane world is doing well if you have any marketing acumen because people are obviously A, scared to travel, and then right. B, depending on what state you live, Gavin Newsom, can't yeah. freaking travel, can't go into stores, can't go into showrooms, right? It's insanity. Anyway, that's a whole nother, I don't want to rabbit hole, but, um, but the, so, okay, so you get this thing in your house, where can you place it? Like how much room does it take up? Can it go into a third car garage? Does it have to go into a living room? Does it have to go into a specific location in your home? Well, the answer is all of the above. It can go in any one of those rooms that you just mentioned. With the, with the exception of a bathroom, you don't want it to be in a bathroom because the humidity could warp the wood. Right, right. But generally, we have most of our saunas plug into a standard outlet. Our luxury line, which you're getting one of those, plugs into a 20 amp outlet. Okay. So it's, it's very simple. Um, I, if I remember correctly, you're going to put yours in a garage. You're going to be in a garage. Well, we, may, we, may, we have room actually to put it in our bedroom. I mean, okay, we have yeah. a huge master, so there is definitely room to put it there. You know, the best thing about the sauna is it's got a full glass door. If you park it in front of uh, one of your TV monitors, you could watch your favorite YouTube channels. There's no TV in the bedroom, bro. No, I don't have TV <laughs> uh, in the bedroom. But we have plenty man. of room. It'll go right next to the red light device. Smart man. But it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a godsend for you because you know, you like to stay really lean. Yeah. This is going to take a, another level to your cardio. It's going to melt dude. any leftover fat that I'm may fired up, man. I'm literally yeah. fired up, man. I'm like I said, you're like going to become one of my best friends and we're going to move a lot of these units. Okay. So let me just ask about, um, well, again, of course it wouldn't be Jay Campbell on a podcast if I wasn't talking about the importance of su suppressing inflammation. Talk a little bit about how amazing, uh, sauna therapy suppresses inflammation. Well, uh, sauna is incredible for arthritis. Um, myself playing football, hockey, I was a boxer down in Venice beach for a while. Over the years, none of that hurt me back then, but as I, as I crested 45, 50 years old, I started <laughs> to limp around the warehouse, which we work in every day. And the first thing I will notice is what the sauna does is it open, opens up the lymphatic system, dilates the uh, blood vessels and the arteries so that those toxins that are stuck on the joints with inflammation in that sticky layer type of the body, those can get flowing. So whatever other treatments you're doing, those will be enhanced a lot better. For me, I was starting to lock up in the hips of all things just a couple months ago, sure. got back in the sauna and it was night and day. It's, yeah. it's almost like a release mechanism, like you're given a key to release the inflammation in your joints. It's not a cure, of course, but it certainly is a benefit. A huge well, there's a ton of science. And again, you know, um, I've studied these and I've looked at this over the years. As I said, you know, Ben Greenfield and I were talking about this like three years ago. Um, it massively improves vascular and arterial flow. So your blood, your vascular networks are essentially being cleansed by regular high temperature. Because right, what we know is that it's pushing out a lot of the gunk in right. your vascular pathways. It increases your heart rate too. So you, you have the vasodilation, the higher heart rate, you've got the toxins leaving your body. It's almost like a concert of perfect health. If you're, if you're doing all your other steps, this can only add to it. So Rhonda Patrick, right, who's like one of the big exercise physiologists, she talks about the, I mean, you know, it's like number one, number two, number one A, when she asks, when professional athletes ask her, like, what is one thing I can do right now to improve my performance, to improve my uh, core strength, uh, to improve my core flexibility. She talks about hot water, I mean, excuse me, hot temperature sauna therapy in your home regularly. Like she, I mean, she raves about it. In fact, I was watching a video of her today too, not about um, sauna, but like as I was scrolling down her Instagram channel, I saw her do like 20 videos on the importance of this. Have you ever spoken to her about this? I have not, but we, we have a lot of um, homeopathic doctors that we yeah. do business with. And one of the things that they find, we have a lot of people in recovery that do sports recovery, sports yeah. injury recovery, and home homeopathy. One of the things that they all swear by is that regular sauna for athletes will improve their recovery times. Yeah. 
and it will improve their stamina. And they, I don't know the names of them, but they mentioned multiple studies, which you can Google real easy, about infrared heat, sauna, and recovery time benefit and stamina, uh, elongating stamina uh, curve, if you will. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with U.S. Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. By the way, this is a question that actually for me, but I, I know my audience will like this too. So like, you know, you hear about infrared therapy, you right. hear about red light therapy, which again, we've already talked right. about red light and juve. Um, what is the differentiation between infrared sauna and heat therapy sauna? Well, heat therapy sauna, the one you would have at your gym if, if yeah. you're going to a public sauna, right. that's a very, very hot room, typically much hotter than an infrared sauna. Right. But that's going to be more like you're in a hot room and it's going to be a surface heat, so your body's going to re your body's going to react to the surface heat and perspire at the surface. What this does, if you know, once you have your sauna jay, you'll notice it'll take ten or fifteen minutes for you to start sweating. But once you do, it's it's a full on. Uh, it's almost like you turn a faucet on. You're going to be sweating profusely in this in this in this manner where you're well aware that you're sweating. When you're in those other saunas, uh, the big heat saunas that are very moist, you can't tell how well you're sweating. But in an infrared sauna, it, there's no doubt it's dripping off of you. It's a wonderful experience. The thing about infrared, again, we'll, we'll touch on it, is it's sure. a light wave as opposed to a hot room. And that light wave will penetrate your body several inches into the fat layers and push the toxins out from there. That's Man. perhaps the best thing to remember. And don't forget, the infrared light wave is non-visible to humans. Right. So right. when we say light waves, I don't want to confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're thinking of uh, Superman, right? Where he reversed it on Lux, not Lex Luthor, but on Commander Zod. Right, right, right. Uh, it's not yeah, a no, 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 I'm very familiar with it, but I mean, I figured it would be good for you to explain it and spell it out, which is really cool. So therapy-wise, um, do's and don'ts. Uh, do's and don'ts. When you're first starting out in sauna, if you're not, if you're not sweating regularly or working out, first and foremost, you should always consult a physician just to make sure you're healthy enough for it. We gotta cover ourselves, bro. Yes, we do. But yeah. first and foremost, your body may not sweat the first couple times. Your body's locked in to holding right. these toxins right. and locked into the environmental survival aspect. Once you crack that seal ice, I always it's like cracking an egg. Once you do, your body will just start to release all those toxins. I think uh, the, the biggest benefit and the, the one that might get people the most interested is it's amazing for weight loss and weight management. Right, yeah. If you get yourself on a diet yeah. or any type of uh, exercise program, this is just going to enhance it. Weight management, if you sauna every day, you can manage your weight easily. I've actually, easily. I've actually read that um, competitive bodybuilders are using now saunas in their home um, during their preparation. Right, yeah. like actually part of the cardio, the weight training, sauna, well, cardio again, recovery, cardio yeah. again, cardio again, and then sauna post cardio before they go to bed. Because again, like you said, it's literally thermogenically regulating your metabolism, right? So if you're already yeah, in the shedding phase, so yeah, dude, I'm like super geeked about doing this. I just, oh, yeah. that, I just hope I can travel to Mexico for my 50th birthday in, in March. <laughs> oh yeah i hopefully it'll be safe right <laughs> all of us i hope we can leave right because there's yeah. one guy who might not allow us to even leave our state but we won't go there bro because we don't talk uh, politics he on gets to do whatever he wants <laughs> <laughs> okay it so so um give us like a strategy for like i mean obviously a person who's completely unconditioned and not trained has to go very very gradually but for a right. person that's already exercising, let's say is a normal Jay Campbell optimized listener, you know, what would you tell them? Like how many times, I mean, should this be once a day? Should it be, you know, for people really serious, like twice a day, 10 minutes? I mean, what do you think? 
Well, it's a, it's, there's no one size fits all, but what I always say is infrared sauna is something you've got to get used to. Now, we didn't mention that we always put Himalayan salt in our saunas. Yeah, no, we're not done. We're, good. we're getting there. Yeah. Okay, no problem. We'll leave that for a moment. But the infrared sauna impact in the, in the beginning stages, your first session, first, second session, third session, you can get uncomfortable in there because it's a new feeling. So sure. you want to start out slow. You want to shoot for 15, 20-minute sessions, and you want to keep the temperature 120, 130, and not go over that. Once you get to the point where you feel comfortable, confident going in and staying in there, then you can bump it up to 140 and go for 30, 45 minutes. But I wouldn't say if you're just starting out, don't ever go over a half an hour. Start in the 15, 20 minute range, gauge how you feel, go in for more. And you can do multiple times a day. There's no reason not to. Okay, so before I wanted to set you up. So obviously I'm a huge believer in Himalayan salt. Whenever I get sick, and I don't get sick often, right? But if I get a nasal drip or if I get yeah. any kind of uh, sinus infection or any of that, instantly I'm using the neti salt, right? You know, and I'm breathing that in, gargling with that. I, I wish, it's a funny story. It's not worthy of me sharing it here, but like in my early 30s, I just lost my voice. And truthfully, I was not breathing through my nose well enough. And I kept going to, you know, quack doctors and they would give me bullshit yeah antibiotics, you know, oh, you got a science infection, but I wasn't breathing through my nose well. So I actually went, once I figured it out, I went to a person, a th therapist and taught me how to breathe through my nose and I solved all that. But the doctor at the very end of that was like, bro, all you need to do is gargle with Himalayan yeah. mountain salt every night before you go to bed and you will never have a sinus infection. And I was like, what? Right. And I swear to God, Richard, ever since I've never, ever, ever had one, but I, I have it all the time. And then I also use it Whenever I get an injury in my shoulders, which I have a lot of you know, trauma, past use, athletic stuff, I am rubbing the pink Himalayan mountain salt you know, into my joints, into my soft tissue, into my um, fascia, and I just let it sit there for 10 yeah. minutes in my shower under hot water. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it is amazing. Now, obviously, you guys are recommending and you guys use it in your infrared sauna, but talk about the technology and why you do that. Well, uh, first and foremost, we were in the Himalayan salt business before the sauna business, and we found them to be a great marriage. And the reason why is what Himalayan salt does, and the gargling is great. I gar as soon as I feel a sore throat, I yep. gargle incessantly. Yep. And then for your shoulder, if you mix it with a little uh, coconut oil, it might actually do a little better. So if you want to try that out a little bit. I actually, but, um, I've already done that because my wife, that's all she uses. I have like gobs, jars of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Costco job. Anyway, um, the the thing that Himalayan salt does in the sauna is it's a passive it's a passive passenger. You don't touch it, you don't work with it. But what it does is, as you sweat, salt attracts some moisture. As that right. moisture evaporates off the surface of the salt, it creates negative ions, which you know are oxygen molecules yep. with a negative charge. Right. And this is what I call little superhero oxygen molecules. You'll be starting to take in 20 to 30% more oxygen with the salt in the sauna than without. And that boosts your immune system, elevates your mood. And more importantly, it settles you down to like a zero point where you're in this alpha state when you're relaxed and you'll stay in the sauna longer. And then the benefits just keep compounding from there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, well, actually, how do you add the salt? Is there, do you have like a, 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 a so, yeah. in there or you just we, put it uh, on you? Or? Yeah, if you see behind me, we have uh, these Himalayan salt walls that we backlight. We sell these to spas. We take those same bricks and we give you a nice marble plate. So it creates a barrier between the naked wood and the salt and you stack up your tower of salt bricks. And then from there, they work by mother nature. They attract moisture naturally and evaporate naturally. So do you so guys, salt, does it come with it or do you just buy that yeah. separately? No, no, it comes with it. Basically wow. a lifetime supply. Your sauna will come with 40 pounds of Himalayan salt. Dude, that's awesome. That should last, that should last you forever. And it's going <laughs> yeah. to create the equivalent of 400 square feet of negative ions. You can't OD on ions, but you, but and you can never get enough. So it's really right. great that you have that. That's amazing. So um, before, my, before I forget, I want to talk about the various uh, units you guys have in the prices because it's amazingly affordable. That's, it's, that's kind of blew my mind. But uh, yeah. kids... Because my 13 and my 11 year old are gonna be like, but dad, I want to go in there. So like, what, what are some kind of rules and regulations around kids? Well, uh, if they're normally healthy, I wouldn't worry too much. I, I would make it a fun thing. 
just turn the, the heat way down. Don't put them in at 120 or 130. Right. They're probably not mature enough to handle right. that as physiology, but sure. you, they can go in at 95, 99, and they can play little games how long they stayed in. Just monitor them. I always bring in water when I do my sauna. Sure. So always bring in a jug of water, nice cold water to make sure you're okay. And just remember the door never, lo you can't lock the door so they can always push the door open real easy. So but do you, yeah. do you, well, do you like doing it? Cause I'm already thinking way ahead already, but are you, do you like doing it as part of like a morning ritual? Like, you know, meditate while you're in, do it before. I mean, like, you know, what are some best practices? Again, you've been using it. So like, what do you like doing? Right. Well, I, I, I like you. I meditate first thing in the morning. Right at home in my spot on the couch with the music playing at the warehouse end of the day when the workers go home i hop in a sauna you know dance around here in my uh, in my boxers i go in there for a half hour I, I look at my phone watch some videos and i just let it happen and what i find is it takes the stress out of my body yeah, exactly i'll hop on the freeway which you know are nuts up here and I, a different perspective i i would if i was just starting out i would shoot for three days a week a guy like you, if you could pull three days a week for a couple of weeks, then you'll you'll fall into a routine that fits your body. Yeah. There's an intuitive aspect to it. But for me, sauna, sauna resets your mind. It resets your psyche. It resets your outlook towards other people, the world, the freeway, whatever. Oh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Definitely... But do you, do, do you, do you envision, because like right now, my morning ritual, same as you, you know, 15, 20 minutes meditation, sitting outside with my dog. Then I come back in. If it's a if it's a fasting day, I'm doing cardio for like 35 to 45, sometimes 50 minutes. Do, would you recommend doing it like right after sweating the cardio and just getting in and just like relaxing, letting the toxins out, or would you rather do that before? I'm I might I might do cardio and then hop in the. That's sauna. what I was thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I already that's figured what I it might. out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I think would be best. Your best results would be that way, in my opinion. Yeah, no, 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 of course. And yeah, everybody's going to experiment. Okay, so let's talk about the various units. And, you know, for the purposes of everybody knowing, we're doing this on November 20th. And Rich is his company. You're completely back ordered and sold out, which is awesome to know. But as a, More on fellow, the way. <laughs> as a fellow product, tangible product salesperson myself and a company owner, I know that that sucks when your clients are like, hey, I want to get it right now. I want to send it right yeah. now. Yeah, we've had that too with our hair product and stuff like that. But uh, let's talk about the units you have. So from from the from base to the Rolls Royce Platinum Deluxe, I mean, you literally have units under a thousand bucks, right? Right, right. We have our first unit, which is called the Freedom Sauna. Heads up, hands free. It's a sauna where your head is actually coming out of top, full wood, cedar wood, and it has a, a a little shelf where your hands pop out and you can play with your phone or remote control. That's the one that I use at the warehouse. It's called Heads Up, Hands Free, and that one is actually on sale for five ninety nine. Wow! Shipping's like two or three hundred bucks. It gets shipped freight, but that is the easiest way to get involved. Then we have our most popular one, and you mentioned we're back ordered. The single sauna is normally fourteen hundred dollars. We have it on sale for nine ninety nine. We awesome. can't keep them in stock. Yes, yeah. that's, that's basically yeah. a giveaway. And the reason why we did it, our board of directors got together at the beginning of COVID. And we set it back to last year's Black Friday price, and we've never taken it off. So that's a that's a winner for the customer, and it's a winner for us. Then we have our executive two-person, which is 48 inches wide. It's 42 inches deep. It's a full-spectrum sauna. It's got LED light therapy, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth speakers, got an ozone machine, an oxygen machine, got controls on the inside, the outside. It's a wonderful sauna. That one starts at around 14. Your sauna is in the luxury scale. So your sauna is called the Duet. That's 48 inches wide, 48 inches deep. That is a full spectrum carbon fiber heated Bluetooth technology, Beautiful. LED light therapy. And that one is uh, probably the most popular in the luxury line. It's really nice. The 48 inches allows you to really stretch out a lot. Yeah. Uh, it has ergonomic back supports. And we, we're sold out of those as well. But again, we have more shipments coming in. That one is on sale for around 18, 19. That's awesome. And we have a four person, which is the bigger brother of the one you're getting. And that is, um, has the Bluetooth technology, the LED light therapy, has the triple heaters, which you're getting, which is near, mid and far. And it's full glass front. The beauty of these is, is that once you get them set up, they look like they belong in the room. And we have one for every occasion. So we have one for the person just getting started, the freedom sauna or the yep. single. And for the person who wants something bigger, we have the executive double 
then we have your thought of the duet, and then we have the four person. We find that line really services everybody really well. That's amazing. So I mean, like, there's no reason that my wife and I can't both sit in there at the same time, right? No, no, not at all. You'd be in there having a good time, listening to music, your playlist, what, what have you. That's awesome. So, so the Bluetooth speakers, um, it just connects with any phone or tablet or whatever, right? You just right, right. right. There's a control panel on the sauna. Uh, you do a couple of connections and you can play your playlist. You can even bring in your phone in the sauna for a little while, but we don't suggest leaving it in there the whole time. It could damage it. I mean, with the temperature, I'm sure very few people fall asleep, but I mean, I guess it depends on how fatigued you are too. You could definitely, once you get used to it, you can easily fall asleep, I'm sure. Oh yeah, very, it's very, very relaxing. Um, first of all, you're sitting upright. So yeah. falling asleep you know, for a long period of time might be very hard but there's a timer. So you set your timer, you set your heat and it will count down for you. So generally, I think the timer will go longest is 90 minutes. So even if you were to pass out, if you're in good physical health and you've been sauna for a while, you should be okay. But I've actually never heard of anyone falling asleep for the whole period of time. It's a, you know, you speak about meditation. It's a decent place to drift off as well. You can drift off to meditation while you're in the sauna. It's a great place to do it. Yeah. I mean, once you practice, you can do it anywhere, right? It's just really just stillness. Sure. I mean, it's all it is. It's just stillness. You can just focus on like whatever it is, monotonous <laughs> sound. Yeah. Um, okay. So for everybody that's watching this show and is like now blown away, like, holy shit, like, how do I get one? You and I are going to work on you know, creating some sort of Jay Campbell special so people can like right. run it in. As we're right. doing this right now, we don't know what that'll be, but we'll have that in the show notes. So anybody who's watching will be able to get that. Right, right. What's the of easiest course. way for them, you know, right now live to go and purchase these? Well, we have our wonderful website, spiritualquest.com. It's one word made out of two. Spiritualquest.com. You go to the infrared sauna salt cave category and everything's there. We have an 800 number. You can call us anytime, night or day. It'll forward numbers to us. So we'll get back to you if it's during closed hours. But for sure, Jay, we're going to put a, a coupon code up for your, for your fans only. And uh, we're going to do an affiliate marketing with uh, you. So you should have them on your website pretty soon, as soon yep. as we can get our graphic people up with your graphic people. Yep. And like I said, I think you and I figured out that, you know, again, today's November 20th. We're going to run this in the middle of December. At worst, worst case scenario, we'll run it in the very beginning of January. I just want to make sure that you're fully stocked and, you know, you guys, you know. The Jay, I bought a song <laughs> and I can't get it shipped. I mean, dude, that's what they say <laughs> yeah, to me on right. my products. Hey, yeah, your hair loss product is back ordered for two weeks. Sorry, guys. A lot of people want to have their hair regrown. So, Richard, so, man, I really appreciate that. you coming on the show today, Thank dude. You. It, was, it was totally awesome meeting you. I, I mean, I'm so psyched. I'm about to run downstairs and tell my wife, like, you're not going to believe what's going to happen here. I, I, really, really, I, I really appreciate you letting me on your show. Oh, no, bro. I mean, you are well deserving of being here. And like I said, we'll break bread you know, together personally and do dinner and stuff like that very soon. But um, oh, you know, yeah, I'm going to deliver your sauna for you here in a few weeks. Oh, bro. That's awesome, man. I, I yeah. totally appreciate that. But, uh, you know, for, again, for all the amazing people that watch this Jay Campbell podcast and without you guys, there would be no Jay Campbell. So again, we appreciate you guys, but please support the amazing people. If you haven't, you know, figured it out by the end of this podcast, now the importance of having sauna therapy in your home during COVID, then you're not paying attention. So support Richard, go to their website. It's spiritualquest.com. Pick up one of these amazing saunas and obviously use the discount code so that you can save yourself some money. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize Absolutely. your love Absolutely. creation. We will see you guys very soon. Thanks, Jay. Just mention Jay when you call.